Hey folks, Korax here. I love the Sophia. Sophia by Leo. It brought our Kato tanks back to life again. Sans those awful Katos. Now you got a beautiful vape from those same tanks. How about building a TC coil in the Sophia V2? This is the Sophia V2. But with this compact chamber. 9mm, right? Sophia is a 9mm Kato format. Submersible tanking RBA. So the chamber is compact. There is hardly any space and you have to build a nickel coil. A nickel coil or titanium or whatever needs more wraps because the resistance coefficient is quite slow. And over that, it has to be a spaced coil. So can we do it? Let's find out. So wrapping a 28 gauge nickel, 3 mm coil today, 3.5 and this is 3. So this one is 3.5, this should be 3. I'll wrap the coil here. I'll be doing 10 or 11 wraps, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, press it in, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is how my coil is. So as usual, taking the smaller one, keeping this rested on the table and holding this between the two legs of the coil like so. Wrapping the longer wire this time around the first post. Taken a complete turn like this and gone up. Then take the bottom piece and we will wrap this one, the bottom leg, around it like so. A complete turn. Let me give it a pull. Yes. Then the base with the positive pin inserted already. Remember one leg is here the other leg is here. So this to cut out should be facing the legs. Like so. See the pin has been pushed. So holding everything together let me tighten the positive post the 510 end, screwing it in as tight as possible. Like so. So here is my coil. One leg is facing this side, the other leg is facing opposite side. Here you go. Let me remove the mandrel. It is not touching the bottom, nothing is touching anywhere. So let us check the ohms. Let me keep it to 21 watts and 430 Fahrenheit. And note I have still not cut the coil legs. I will do that later once I test it. New coil up. Yes, 0.1 ohms, so perfectly alright. Now I can cut the coil legs and space it out. So this one I believe can be wriggled out. Yep, like so. And this end, let me cut it off. Then insert the mandrel back and space it out. I think it is good enough. So the final call should look something like this. It 
It's a finely spaced coil. The reading, yeah, continues to be 0 0.1, 0 0.1 ohm. So now time to wake it up. My usual wicking material, silicon and rayon, and cutting a nice chunk out of it, and then roll it up, like so. Inserting it to the coil. Like so. Two things to remember here. One, this coil should not be larger than the diameter. Right? It's a compact space. So we have to keep it contained within this, otherwise it will short out. Second, rayon. Rayon moves tight. Cotton moves smoother inside a coil. So you usually tend to use more wicking material when you use rayon than in cotton. Okay, now the next step. My wick's bottom will be touching this boundary, the end of the cutout, both the sides. Now, but I don't want this much to go down. So what I'll do is, I'll split both the ends into half. First measure it till the bottom, so it should be cut out somewhere here. I can use the scissors, I think. Yeah, that was better. Now let us split this into two parts. Like so. Both the sides. This is already same as split. Yep. Then cut off one half. Like so. So for keeping these legs in place, I need to little bit wet it up, so saturate it. Today I'll be using Mr. K line. It's a famous Canadian juice from Quebec, Canada. And this particular one is Keys. This is high VG juice, 90% VG. So let me saturate the tails a bit. Actually the entire coil. Yeah, I'll have to give it a vapor test, right? All right, let's see what is the vapor looks like. Nice. So once the tails are juiced and tucked in, it'll look something like this. You can see the space between the base's air hole and the coil, and this is the sides. Nicely firing. It is now 0.13. Nickel as it gets warmed up, it increases the resistance. Remember that. So let's assemble everything up. This time I'll use the standard body tube of the Sophia. Previously I was using this, the integrated drip tip one. This time I'll use the standard body. So I'll fix a drip tip on top. So which side is Sophia written? Here, this side. So this goes down. And gently the coil is quite spread out, so we have to be careful, extra careful that it doesn't short with the body. So as gently as possible, I'll have to do this job. Ah, like so. Ah, thank God, everything is all right. Still 0.13. And let's take a vape and see. Fantastic. Perfect. So now I can fill the tank and set it up. So let's assemble everything together. This time I'll be using the cage tank as usual. The same was being used before as well. So let's enter it up. Oh, by the way, here is the famous red silicon o-ring of Leo. This o-ring helps in turning because it's little softer material. It helps in turning the juice control. So this is how it will look. This much will be out in the standard size. And you can easily grab it and turn it. Okay, so let's fill it up. Filling the cage tank is the most easiest thing. It got the top cap. Remove it and fill it. Juice control is closed so there is no way of flooding the chambers. Like 
like so. Then the top cap attached. Yep, we are good to go. So Sofia V2 with temperature control nickel belt inside a cage tank. success oh yes it works and it works beautifully it's now settled down to 1.1 ohms and same 430 Fahrenheit and 22 watts Nice. No problem of wandering resistance, no problem of temperature protected heating early. Seems to be working fine. So yes, in this format, in the Sofia V2, you can build a nickel coil and can use your temperature protected devices. And it is vaping like a charm. No hassles, no issues. I have just kept the juice control open by say one turn one one and a half turns it is feeding well remember with temperature control with a nickel coil as long as you have good airflow and your juice is feeding the coil and the wick setup properly you have no issues early temperature protector will not hit now a couple of tips one like i just told you about the airflow and the juice feeding but building a coil a spaced coil with so many wraps in this small place it needs a little bit of dexterity Yes, it's not everybody's cup of tea. The space is small, it's compact, and you have to ensure that the positive and the negative. Negative can touch the top part of the you know deck system. That deck two portions are there. The positive one can never touch the top part. If it touches the top part, it's a short, and your coil will be blasted. You don't want that, and that's a headache. You'll have to open everything up and recoil it. So you'll have to keep the positive leg well secured away from the top portion make sure that then your opening of the Sofia V2's juice control depends on your VG and the PG viscosity of your juice if it is a high PG juice about 3 fourth or half turn is good enough but like I showed you today I'm using a high VG juice so I've kept it one turn it was doing well then I opened it further maybe 1.25 and it is behaving perfectly Imagine this wave coming from a Carto RBA. <laughs> this is a beautiful RBA. It has made our life so much better. The wave quality has improved like anything. And Sophia V1 was the best atomizer for your flavor. Same is V2. Absolutely top notch. And it has opened up also. The airflow is now a little slightly opened up. So I can take a direct lunk I'm taking direct lunk hits. Restricted, but still plausible. So there you go, folks. I hope you liked it. I hope you can replicate this. It is not for the weak-hearted any day, but you can try it out. If you can build your Sofia V2 with Canthel, I believe you can do that with your nickel or titaniums as well, or steel coils. So that's about it today. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more. Bye. Remember, vaping is a healthier alternative and we have the right to make that choice.